Yeah, hello everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to episode six. Ah, oh, yes, we are investigating the ghoulish curse in the bookstore. So, um, yeah, let's head up up the stairs. In the last episode, we uh, we've done a lot of exploring, a lot of world building, and we entered this bookstore. And now we will um, go upstairs and. Uh, See if we can find a ghoulish ghoul. So we've popped by old window planes and debris. Okay. Full of strange liquid, you say? Interesting. Oh. I thought my light turned off. Got here. <gasps> Money. A naked mannequin's torso, a strange yellow colour. But where are the clothes it used to display? Yeah, that would be nice. Blue velvet, soft to the touch, moth bin. Bloody pesky moths always buying holes in my t-shirts. Oh, this looks like a, a plan. Your flashlight slides over an old green chalkboard covered in scribbles, sketches mm. and schemes like some ancient cave mural. Some of the writing has faded with age, but you can still make out sections here and there. Photos and drawings have been pinned to the board. Uh, okay, let's inspect the These choice. lithe, pointy-eared creatures appear to be different types of welkins. You make welkins. out autumnal candle welkins, casting wax-based magic. Translucent welkins, with organs shining under their skin, and even ether welkins, Hailing from the vast emptiness of sidereal space. You Welkins. should adopt one of those Wilkins as your persona. No longer a mere man, but a Welkin. No, I don't want to be a Welkin. Towering among the rest appears to be different, however. Okay, let's examine this Welkin. It's Vara Hamira, a high Welkin. His face white and scarred like cracked marble. This Ooh. is clearly a Welkin supremacist. Oh dear. The note says, all non-Welkin races will be purged. Oh, The Haldor, the Tworg, the humans, and even headless men. All of them purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin. Green Welkin, Dread Welkin, and the High Welkin to rule them all. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little Welkin creatures. Little? Why would anyone spend so much time on this? Who are these creatures who drew them? Aren't they real? I have so many questions. It whispers, one of them is a Welkin supremacist. Well, this has been educational. Let's move on from the Welkins. Um, let's say this. Mm -hmm. Political commentary. That one has a great beard, too. Mm. Yeah, who are these? This who are looks Welkins? like concept art for a project. It's not really real. Oh, okay. I was wondering if Welkins were real. Some people really like building a world, I think. Even if it's just for a game. <laughs> All right, just well, look at those let's details. So much effort. Let's have a look at the photos. The photo collage depicts barren, icy landscapes wrapped in perpetual night. You see permafrost and glacial landforms, dead trees grown in under the snow. Entire oceans have been frozen from shore to shore. There are pictures of settlements on dried up riverbeds, abandoned in a storm. Animal corpses in the dark, carcasses and bones. You see primitive oil rigs built into glaciers, boreal dvorg, yurts mm. under the snow, great mammoth-like beasts of burden. Albeit dark and cold, this vision also feels cozy in its own way, like eggnog or morphine. A much needed respite from our own world. So it's an escape. A pinned postcard reads, The heat death scenario. A desperate fight for geothermal energy engulfs the world as Wirral becomes untethered from its sun, drifting through the universe. All right, let's inspect the schedule. This is a monthly calendar from the year 50. So that's last Cryptic year. words like sprint, daily minimi, and GPI span the marker-drawn grid, the grand scheme of production and money. It looks a bit like an academic calendar, 
only much more brutal. Mm. Minimi stands for a mini meeting. It's part of a bigger framework for managing work called RUM. Station 41 tried to implement it a few years ago, but failed. You got house keys. Alrighty. Uh, so Minimi stands for a mini meeting. It's part of a bigger framework managing a work called Run. Station 41 tried to implement it a few years ago but failed. <coughs> okay. Yeah, what, As time what goes on, happen? the numbers in the boxes grow rarer and rarer. The board becomes an empty snowfield in the final days. Only failure and regret dwell in this region. Ah. Looks like they didn't make it. No. The lieutenant looks at the frigid ice field of nothingness. A note in the bottom left corner of the chalkboard says, See the prod schedule filament for details. Let's inspect these notes. Handwriting is only partly legible, but you can still make out three slogans. Call in, tune out, Wirral untethered, and heat death of the universe. The full text reads, Heat death of the universe is the new black. Another note says, the biggest advancement in role-playing systems since the 30s. Okay, let's leave that. That feels like a... Well, I don't really know what that feels like, but... It feels like maybe a metaphor for the game. <laughs> this appears to be some kind of machine with a cube-shaped heart and a wired oh. framework. The keyboard has a rectangular on-off button. A piece of paper still hangs from the printer. A radio computer. Ah. Just sitting here without anyone inside. He sounds surprised and a bit cautious. What he means is that these things cost money. Why would anyone just leave it behind? Okay. This is the Ream Civic radio computer. Model RC5120. Equipped with a Feld mainframe and a Ream compatible printer. Let's turn it on. The machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, revealing fluorescent play and print keys on the keyboard. Oh. The hatch on the machine's central compartment is wide open. Let's look inside the It's empty like a beehive without its brood. Some cables have been left dangling, disconnected. This is where the memory should go. The memory? Nothing happens. Something's missing. There's no tape in the player. Uh, press print. Nothing happens. Okay. So I need a tape or a memory of a tape. What's this? Scribbled across the notebook. Developers of the most advanced RPG in the universe. So there's some people developing an RPG up here. By the sounds of it. And they're cursed. Or they're not cursed, but they, they think they're cursed. What's around here? More money! Yes! Let's have a quick look in here. Anything in these boxes? Oh, this might be a, mem a memory cube. Yes, production schedule, filament memory. Steel rail blades bearing a slipstream logo. Skips skis with slipstream printed on the laminated top layer. Okay, slipstream. Maybe that was the name of this RPG developer. Oh, no, let's not go up there just yet. Um, is this going to be locked? Oh, no, this is a way out. Uh, uh, there's the stairs there. There we go. Okay. Let's have a look at what's on here. This old fireplace is covered in lines drawn in blue and red marker. The mesh spreading over the stone like blood vessels on alabaster skin. It looks ghostly and strangely ancient. Okay. The whole thing resembles Cadran mosaic tiles. 
very pathetic. Uh, yeah, how do I know what they're History supposed to look classes, like? students with their textbooks open, studying the roots of our civilization. Those aquarelle blue tiles looked beautiful in the sun. Oh. What Brilliant am I looking frequencies, at? it seems. Okay. UKV 123.6. UKV 123.7 UKV 123.9 Some written they... notes, too. Sparse and cryptic. What are they for? Unclear. It looks like a cardiovascular system split into veins and capillaries. Very advanced. Uh... <laughs> the anatomy of the curse. Uh... So, I mean... It's obviously not medical, but... You think so? The web is comprised of radio stations, all lead back to one red heart, titled The Game Master Frequency. The Game Master A note Frequency. says, this one can listen in on any station it wants. Oh. They must have had massive air width. These things don't come cheap. Someone very master. important. Oh. A conductor for the hundreds of story threads that pass through the Game Master's frequency. So who's playing Whoever it? decides to call in to a call-in station. Ah, oh, okay. Like a list of names under the stations suggests people across six Isolas would be playing Muindi, Insulinda, Kotla, Grad, Samara, and even Ilmara. There's no way a little basement studio working here could pull anything like this off. My god. It's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Exactly. This schedule, I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Hmm. What else? Nothing. The lines. It's just lines on marble. An echo from times long gone. No one has used the fireplace in ages. So who's been up here then? Oh, Lonesome. What's this? Long way ah, home. Ah, nice. Here we go. Home awaits. Walk past Station 41 and through the market. Past the Boogie Street spearhead to the other side of the lake. The frozen eye at the center of the district. Then, past the video rental store on the corner. There, at the end of a street lined with pine trees. A small house, no larger than a matchbox. Eleven Voyager Road. You no longer live there. Damn. Those times are gone. And so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? You have to get back to work. That's all you have now. Speed gives one. Okay, so um, I don't live at Eleven Voyager Road anymore. Oh, why is that zipping up there? <laughs> um, so I get. What do I get? I get um. Learning count for perception raised to five. And speed gives one plus one psyche. Nice. Ooh, give me okay. talk. What do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard, and fireplace? Yeah. Oh, it could be an undercover counterintelligence program. It could be. And they've disguised it as a video game, and maybe that's all the code words for it. No, that's not it. Oh, okay, I fine. Think. <laughs> the lieutenant takes a step back, st st steepling his head. Like he's ready to lay out a fine theory, crafted together like a puzzle box. Oh, come on, Kim, hit me. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role-playing games. Only these people were trying to automate it, make mm. it work on radio computers. Has anyone ever done that not before? Not to my knowledge. They make automated games in Grad, Messina, Königstein. You know, places with industry. Not in Revachol West. 
among no. the ruins. But I don't think anyone has attempted to create an interisolary game before. We just don't have the technology. Hmm. Uh, and Indeed. a role-playing game? Those Welkins are a dead giveaway. Role-playing mm. people love that stuff. The world looks like a modified version of the We World board game, with hit death thrown in. Uh, what you, yeah. Super cool. Someone okay. should give them millions of real immediately. immediately. This game is too good to be left unfinished. It is too good to be unfinished. No idea. They start from the money schedule on the chalkboard. How does, how does Kim think they're going to calling so stations. Socks. None of the players have to be physically present. Anyone in the world can participate in the game, as long as they have a tool. Oh, okay. Radio. And then there'll be the... Oh, the Games Master's like the DM. Then ah, there's the Game yeah. Master Frequency that listens in on the smaller calling stations. I think that was supposed to coordinate mm. the stories, functioning as a master of ceremonies of sorts. Coordinating so many games would take a whole switchboard of people, possibly divided into sub-frequencies. Indeed, wow. it's ambitious and untethered from reality, but they were insane if they thought they could do this. It was just to play. It was just to play. It was just a play to cheat money out of their investors' pockets. The curse got so I see no other explanation. The world is cold and lonely. This would keep it company. Let's finish it. Do we have any money? Let's give them more money so they can finish it. Um. I don't think they were insane. Yeah, let's finish. It's too late for that, I'm afraid. Oh. A half smile breaks out on his face. It's too late for that, I'm afraid. He says, looking around at the derelict room, the pipes howl and the rat cross the okay. floor. Let's keep moving. Right, let's put this memory cube in the compartment. Tiles on the cube are still smoldering, casting the frame like a smooth draw. The filament slides into place. On the keyboard, the play key starts blinking. A bar of fabric right above the keyboard starts producing a soft hum. The sound of static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. The static gets louder, slowly filling up the abandoned hall, until a voice speaks out, crackling and old, cutting into the air. Good afternoon, Fortress Accident en rue de Saint-Gazelaine. This is East Insel Indian Repeater Station 1. Please repeat. Is this the production schedule? Oh. I wasn't expecting... Good afternoon, Fortress Accident on rue de Saint-Gazelaine. This is East Insel Indian Repeater Station. Um, what, uh, no, the, I, I can see the production schedule, so I think I know what that is. Let's ask, yeah, for Fortress Accident. is the company on whose name the terminal you are currently using has been registered to. Oh. One moment. Yeah, flip through a catalogue before she reads out the studious care. Fortress Accident SCA produces revolutionary interactive calling radio games. That's what the catalogue says. Oh, uh, okay. That's not bad. <sighs> wow, so conceptual. Hmm. Any other questions? Um, what's the production schedule? I'll ask. The filament you have inserted into the reader. Yes. Is that the production schedule? Yeah. Uh, I was looking for my inventory. Yeah, I, I, I think so. Good. Please repeat the password. Bollocks. Password. Of course it would have a password. That's why there's a human administrator involved. Hmm. 
give me a hint, yeah. No. Bollocks. A hint system is not part of the protocol for repeater stations. Uh, uh, I don't know the password. Received. I will register this login attempt. Okay. Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning up sooner or later. Mm. Fortress accident. Is there anything else I can do for you today? What are you, a machine or are you alive? Yeah, let's ask this. Yes, I am alive. I am 74 Yvonne. years old and my name is Yvonne. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. Oh, the attendant whispers into your ear. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. Okay, but where, so, Yvonne, my partner, tells me that you're here because the radio computer guys are all paranoid. Okay, but where are you? How did you know where I am? Uh, no, let's, he, Kimmy whispered it to us. Let's, let's keep Kim on the lowdown. I work as a repeater at the East Insel Indian repeater station. It's my job to know where you are for the accident. As for me, well, I am sitting in my cubicle. Surrounded by a wall of radios. Okay. Now, please tell me if there's anything else I can do for Trace Accident. So Kim says she repeats passwords. As in, so she uses the same password for stuff. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you, yeah. and goodbye. Old lady's voice is Tiles on the tube okay. are still smoldering, casting the framework in a soft glow. Fluorescent play and print keys shine on the keyboard. <laughs> Nothing happens. Damn. Okay. Let's leave. Right, okay, so let's try and look for a password. Let's go up these stairs first. Let's see what's up here. Oh, what we got here? Looks like a makeshift bedroom. Floorboards Creek. Does someone live here? Yeah. It looks like it. Is that what's this? Postcard La Delta 51. Sunlight has made this postcard almost completely se uh, sepia toned. Midtown traffic passes overhead, the ghosts of the skyscrapers disappear into the beige midday mist vapor rising from the delta on which the district was built. This postcard is prepaid. Okay. Iron safety curtain curves before your eyes, folded like a bellows. It covers half the room, blocking the way into a colossal ah, industrial this, chimney. chimney. This oh. must be where the entity yeah. lives. Yeah, let's give it what a What an odd thing to do. Nothing happens. Still nothing. Ah, oh, bollocks. You feel something in your chest, an unnatural pressure. It's spreading to your left arm. Oh. Your jaw. Very, very bad. This is the end. Bad. Oh, God. All you feel is pain and weakness. You have to surrender now. We all do. It gets so dark. You don't even see her face. Like you always thought you would. You only see pain and fear. I killed myself. Cop suffers final heart attack. A detective <laughs> lieutenant of the RCM passed away yesterday. His death, though abrupt, did not come as a surprise to those who knew him. He was the heaviest drinker I'd ever met. Captain Ptolemy Price, the deceased superior officer, commented. That ain't easy on the ticker. He loved <laughs> his liquor, sure, said Detective Chester McLean, friend and colleague. 
but I think before he ever had a heart attack, his heart was broken. According to an official statement given by the RCM, the officer was on the brink of solving a murder case. <gasps> oh, it's, it's permadeath. Wow, okay. Right, I need to be careful about... Well, I don't really want to start again, so I'm just going to load this quick save. Um... Oh, right. So I think, do I have zero health at the minute? Which is why I, which is why I died when I knocked too loudly. Uh, right. So this it gives me plus one physique, minus one morale. Okay, I need to be careful about taking damage then. The worn the... map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 40, your finger moves through the finally coming to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing, although the map gives no such indication itself. For a more detailed view of the map, go to your journal and select the map tab. Nice. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so can I heal with anything plus one physique yeah health I've only got one out of two right okay that's why I died because I knocked too loudly right well I won't I'll quickly just get rid of these and also they do give me XP I mean, I only get one XP, but... Oh, that was a weird sound. Money! Uh, get the thing from in here. Get this. Yep, yeah, slipstream. Clothes are used to display. Where are they? I would like those clothes. Okay, uh, let's. Oh, we've been up here. This is where we knock. It's Floods Creek. Shoes in a puddle of melting snow. Grab the postcard. Anti Delta 51. Right, I can't knock on that because I killed myself. So I wonder if I increase my endurance if I can hold on a bit longer. Let's just do a quick save here. Okay, right, we're downstairs in quite a big room. But here's the chimney. The wall collapses, it's inaccessible now. A thick layer of coal dust covers the furnace, colouring mm. it pitch black uh, I looks think it's like a furnace yeah. looks like an old central furnace used to heat the building it's connected to the chimney he opens the door and gingerly peeks no one inside. has used it in ages no signs of any recent fire only dead rats okay let's have a it's look inside it's dark and grimy here in the darkness you can hear chatter it's coming from above a voice or several voices talking to each other near the smoke chamber upstairs ah. the echo is so prominent it's impossible to discern what the voices are saying or what's producing them the entity what are you doing Wait, yeah really we should investigate see if someone's upstairs Interesting, okay. Um, let 
This void, it may be the malignant entity. You're right. The rooms do look like they're connected. But malignant entities don't no. exist. At least not the supernatural kind. Always has to be the skeptic, this man. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to alert them. So I'm just going to leave for now. What's this oven? Looks like an oven. An ice cream maker defrosted and unplugged. The flashlight casts a shadow. There is a hidden doorway here. How do I... Aha! There we go, I'm in. Hidden doorway. Two rusty rifles are hidden above the piping. They're looking all full down. A few bricks have fallen off, revealing a compartment behind the wall. Ooh. It's too dark to see in. Look, there's a hole in the wall shining a light in the hidden There is, yes. And there also appears to be something inside the hole. Interesting. Do you want to take a look? I do. Your hand reaches deep into darkness and <gasps> spider webs, rummaging around. You find rusty rifles hidden away. Rifles? Are these any good? Most of them are rusty and inoperable, like the rest. But one catches your eye. A bolt action model. With a fine wood stock Ooh, and just better cosmetic a rifle. order than the others. That's a rare sight. Seems to no longer be functional, but still uh. a beautiful thing in its own way. His eyes are gleaming. Uh, what does this mean? A it means away. there are firearms, albeit inoperable, still lying around in Martinez. It's an interesting coincidence, I would say. Might come in useful in the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seems like an old bunker from the revolutionary period. Ah. Look at all those rifles. Must be an old weapons cache. An old weapons cache. Someone has stuck some busted guns beneath the ceiling. I wonder if I can change the autosave, how often it happens. Tutorial agent detective mode. Doesn't look like it. No. Right, what we got over here? God, it's a big room under here. Frozen ice cream maker that's still running. Interesting. They're making ice cream here. Intercom wires. Is this a, a mesh tank top? Ooh. Two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red one leads off into the darkness, and the black one to the ice cream maker nearby. Let's unplug the black Something cable. close to you dies with a soft electric purr. Why did you do that? Uh... -uh. Yeah, I don't know. The lieutenant raises his brows, but doesn't say anything. Plug in the, the electric cable. distribution board now has one cable missing. No, let's Somewhere, plug it back in. a machine hums along with the current, happy and contented. Okay, so it's back up. It's on the shelf. <gasps> Money and a health item. So can I use that? <gasps> There you go, now I've got more health. Lovely. What have we got down here? Oh, money. Lovely. Sell our window, people's feet shuffling on the street. Ah, okay. Right, so I'm below the street. And then this must be... Yes. This must be a way out onto the street, maybe? Ah. Okay. Oh. So I wonder if this is a big, big building. 
and the people that we can hear talking are just people upstairs. What's this bear? You see a terrifying oh, ice a fridge with a strange compartment in its belly. The door is covered in frost and the bear's eyes are glowing red. Oh. The bear looks oddly realistic. Is it taxidermy? A gust of freezing cold air rushes to greet you. You hear a low grumble as the bear regulates itself. This is the inside of a refrigerator. The lieutenant takes a peek inside. His hand has found the holster of his gun. Oh God! Look the shelves are empty. All you see are crumpled ice cream wrappers with the brand name Revachon Ice City. A handwritten note has been attached to the door. The fridge is huge. Take the you note. Pocket the note and the little fridge magnets keeping it on the door. Ooh, got some magnets. Uh, yeah. A friendly cartoon bear smiles back at you from a glossy cellophane wrapper. The paper still smells of vanilla and chocolate. Mm. Oh, I might as well ask him Good this. question. It looks like an ice cream fridge. Hmm. He studies he the wrapper in the, the light. So they tried to sell ice cream from this hypercar. I know. What an unfortunate marketing choice. Yeah. What is even worse, the bear is still costing them money to this day. <laughs> Red snaky cable running from the fridge. The fridge buzzes with energy. The electricity bill on this thing must be catastrophic. Maybe I should unplug that. Save the electricity. That's the red cable. I'm gonna unplug it. Two cables are plugged into the, an electric sizzle. The room is slightly quieter now. Let's go back. Let's see if there's a... Now that it's no longer cold. The beer's eyes are dead and empty. Ice inside the fridge slowly melting. Maybe I should plug it back in. Not my bed to unplug. Only the black cable is plugged into the breaker box. Something close to you died. Why did you do that? <laughs> the lieutenant raises his brow somewhere, a machine somewhere in the dark. A giant elec an electric no. sizzle. I'm leaving the bear unplugged. There's nothing in the fridge. <laughs> Plus one drama, clinically insane. So this gives me a real statement to wear, but my suggestion is down. Cool. That's a good amount of cash. I've got the mem Ooh! Production schedule, filament. They're well, ex they're well expensive. Handwritten note from the fridge. The oh, yeah, note let's read is written with a blue pencil on a piece of lined office paper. The kitchen magnets have left spots on its surface. Does it say anything interesting? The closest read the crumpled note over your shoulder. This is tangential at best, but the lieutenant's detective instinct is still active. Nice. Someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. You'll find the filament memory with the off-site copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Oh. Please take it home, ASAP. It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care, Suliswaf. Yeah, Someone who owns a radio computer? My guess is as good as yours, officer. Which is to say, not a very good. <laughs> uh, this must be the, the Some kid outside. Some Koreans, probably. Yeah. There are tons of them running around in Martinez, ready to stir up trouble. We usually dispatch our junior officers to deal with them. Frozen ice cream maker. I think that's over here, isn't it? Oh yes, I've read that. No longer live at 11 Voyager Road. I think, oh, is this the frozen ice cream maker? Mm. This
This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand-cranked ice cream churner on top and an electric freezer that appears to be frozen shut. <gasps> this is the frozen ice cream maker. You slip your fingers under the frozen lid. No, this is going to need something else. Some kind of super prime. If you want to try again, then you need to have... Equip the pry bar by go... Okay. Let's turn this off, though. Only the black cable is plugged something close to you. Duh. Why did you do that? Uh... The lieutenant... Ra yeah, 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 hear me out, hear me out. Because now that is... It'll be melting. This orange machine is... That's the, the pry bar, though. Items, tools, pry bar. This orange machine is dead still. <laughs> it has a hand-cranked ice cream churner and an electric freezer. Pry bar's not strong it, enough. Slowly melting. Goddamn. Turning the crank feels oddly satisfying, like stirring your childhood dreams. Okay, well, I can't get that. Equip these to open lock containers in the world. Maybe, maybe with both of them. This orange machine is dead still. No. It has a hand crank ice. Let's plug it back in just in case. Both cables are unplugged. Uh, Somewhere a machine hums along with the current. Just in case whatever's in there gets, you know, melted and destroyed, etc. Let's go and um, oh, this is secret over here. The wind howls from the coal chute above. Yes, yeah, so this th this must have been this is the basement of a building that um, that you can call into here so where's the thing here to we got old call box with east delta commerce center this must be the name of the doomed commercial area fortress accident that's that's a video game developer slipstream rubbish ice city welling in rags east delta pinball Oh, it's fashion on tier 24 hour window. Main building A. Let's just call this. Off key melody starts playing after you ring the doorbell. Then a woman picks is up this the, be the receiver. Trudeau, it is. Stop calling here. Grown ups don't have time for your stupid game. She thinks you're the gremlin child. <laughs> what would he say to this? Yeah, it's me. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I thought you were... Spot a static that overrides her but words. the doorbell is broken, and the bookstore shouldn't even be on the list anymore. So I can't help you. Please don't call here again. Thanks. Okay. A single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. Revishaw Ice City. I assume this person... I assume they're, they're no longer in business. Silence. Yeah. No one answers the doorbell. I assume fortress accident and no one's in business. Yeah. No one's home. I assume fortress accident. Slipstream and no longer in business. You hear static Ooh. from the intercom speaker. It sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver but isn't saying anything. You can almost hear them breathe. Is anyone there? Yeah. Hello. This is Tricentennial Electric. Fragile through the static. Have you come to place an order? No. She sounds almost antique. As if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. A receiver must not be working properly. Okay. Wait, but what happened to Slipstream SCA? There's no tricentennial electrics on the list. Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, let, let, let's, let's, let's lie about this. Oh my god. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. Hmm. She must be mistaking you for someone else. Who cares that you don't remember her? Just go along with it. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's just play along with it. Michelle, just please. She stops when you can hear her breathe heavily. Her breath is distorted by ancient static. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's ask number one. What's going on? What did I do? Ever since I came to work here, it's been different. As if my mind's been wiped clean. A spot of static overrides her words. When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. Forget about what? She sounds like she's about to cry. Hello? She doesn't answer. Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore mm. on the bay. What Another happened? seagull passes by. It's getting cold standing here. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. Okay. You press Hang the on. number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. What's volition again? Oh, okay, so it's like I'm trying again. Makes you hyper sane. When you're about to get fun to keep, it keeps you normal. It's a bit of a party pooper at low levels, however. You have little morale without it. You'll be able to profoundly unstable cop falling apart. This seems to make irreversible mistakes. Okay. Um... Right, let's keep trying. This one doesn't answer entrance from building B. Uh, Emma's fashion you wait here. for a minute or two, but all you get from the call box is silence. Okay. No one answers the call. 24 hour window. You ring the doorbell, but nothing happens. Uh, the taxi, Fabron's taxi, the rest Looks of the Looks like off. someone has melted half the plastic off with a lighter. Mm. The doorbell doesn't work anymore. Okay. Andro Orlando Hair. SCA. What does SCA stand for? You ring the doorbell, but no one answers. What an ominous name for a hair salon. Doesn't bode well for anyone's hair. Andro Orlando Hair. Who's Andro Orlando? Boxing gym for young athletes and gym. All you hear is static. Oh, yeah, I no see. I found the, the gym call. as well. So it's all in this one big tall building. East Delta Pinball entrance from building B. Silence. No one answers your call. And an empty This yard. button looks new, but someone has removed the name. Huh. This button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. Hmm, okay. So, hang on, let's have a look at our map. I'm imagining this is just like one massive building now. Uh, how do I get to my map? Here we go. So... Bob, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's this big building here. So this is the bookstore. Yeah, this is the bookstore. And you've got the whirling in rags here. And it's just... Right, I mean, it's very derelict. But yeah, and... Okay, so... The entity is something to do with this... 
electronics company, I think. And that must be the voices we can hear. Because all the others don't answer. So this is the this is the ice cream place. Uh where I need to be stronger. This is the video game place. Now That could be slipped. This is a big office block. This is it. Always blocked in the window three. Right, Jim down here. Looks like the remains of 24 hour window repair shop. Ah! So this is 24 hour window. Then this hallway would have come into. Um. Oh. Ah, oh, this is the this is the fashion company. Yeah. Then this is. God, I can't get past. What's in here? It's money, isn't it? Yeah, money. Nice. Then this is Slipstream VA. Looks like someone tried to reconceptualize their business here. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's not let's let's keep this intrusive thought. Look, the skis and rotor blades both bear the same Slipstream logo. Yeah. It seems likely that they started out making one, failed to turn a profit, and then pivoted to producing the other. Okay. Uh, what a strange leap of imagination, and yet they still failed. How sad. That's just speculation. We don't know anything about it for sure. But the question is, which did they start with and which did they pivot to? That's a good question. Reality is ruthless. Yeah, okay, so this yeah, this is slipstream. Okay, I'm we it's getting pieced together. And so let's let's go downstairs because that's the gym. So we can sort of figure that out. This is the gym. Well, I'm not gonna get oh it's it's at the entrance, isn't it? See, I wonder what is if this is anything down here. Is this the art? This is the gym. Window, fashion, video game developer, and then up here. Is I mean someone is staying here. Right, let's just give this a quick save here. Just give a knock. An iron safety curtain curves before your eyes. This must be where the and this is directly above the central furnace in the cellar. The voices probably came from here. Mm. What an odd thing to do. Nothing happens. Still nothing. No one's home. Okay, I don't really want to just bash my fists on it just yet. Let's just quickly cycle through these just so. Your flashlight slides over some of the writing. These light translate. You should have one of the Welkins. It's the hull. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing this little. Mm -hmm. This looks like some people really like. Just look at those. The photo entire you see, albeit dark and cold. This vision also a pinned postcard read. This is a monthly calendar from the year 50. What's the postcard read? Cryptic words like sprint, daily minimi, and GPI span the marker drawn. It looks a bit like an acad. Minimi stands for a mini meeting. As time goes on, looks like they didn't make it. A note in the bottom left corner, the handwriting is only partly legible. The full text reads, heat death of the universe is the new black. Another note says, the biggest... Oh, they're like marketing schemes. So let's just... This, this old file, well. the whole thing resembles Kadran Mosaic. History classes, know what they look students like. with their radio frequencies, unclear. Radio frequencies. It looks like a cardiovascular system, 
split into veins and capillaries. Very advanced. You think so? The web is comprised of radio stations. They must have had massive... Someone it's very... Game a conductor for the hundreds of story threads that pass through the game. Whoever decides yeah. to call in, a list of names under the state... There's no way a little... My God. It's as if the last... Exactly. Nothing. It's just lines on... Okay, right, so we're all caught up. Let's just do another quick save. I'm going to be quick saving much more often now. <laughs> um... Right, I've got a skill point. Now, do I want to unlock another another thought? I think I do. I feel like these give me bigger bonuses. Although, my bonuses at the minute are not very good. Oh, they, these give me passives, don't they? Let's... Oh, or do I unlock... Do I add a skill point into one of these? I've got one in suggestion. I haven't done much suggestion. Suggestion? Suggesting. <laughs> so I've got one in here, one in here. Oh, I don't know. This is a toughie. I think I'm just going to unlock another memory slot. And I'm going to put the... The white morning in it. Five hours. God, I'll tell you what, I'm taking quite a lot of nerfs with... Uh, with these, uh, uh, with thinking about these, but these are intellect caps raised by one, psych caps, learning caps raised by one, plus one, pain threshold, learning cap perception raised by f to five, speed gives plus one. I haven't found any speed yet, I haven't found any dr drugs yet. I mean, I have found some alcohol. Uh, Right, I think I might go shout up. Let's see if that maybe spooks them a bit. Oh, what's this? Money and magnesium. Oh, I read something about magnesium earlier. Right, let's, let's shout up. A thick layer of coal dust covers the furnace, colouring it pitch black. You muster all your strength Bollocks. and yell. <laughs> your dehydrated, hungover throat can produce little more than a dry croak. Box. The chatter from the chimney continues on as before. You seem to have made no impression on whatever's up there. Damn. Then again, maybe it's worth actually trying something up there. Hmm. Maybe you should let your voice rest, officer. Try again later. Put a skill point into physical instruments. Physical instrument to open the white check. Okay. Damn. Damn. Right, well, I think we'll end this episode here, and at the start of next episode, we might consider going and knocking on that door a bit louder. But until then, we're piecing together this building and the curse. Something weird's happening. But we will find out in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and catch up with you in the next one. Goodbye.